fucking get down. We party. Party. So you're in the corner texting your ex-girlfriend. That's that's how I get down. That's how I get loose. Fucking drinking. I uh, I I feel like I drink too much. I don't know uh, how many times I'm gonna black out at a, a bar, you know, and then like wake up in my apartment for nothing but a half-eaten burrito. Before I realize, I think it's uh, I think it's time to make some changes, you know. It doesn't happen. It never happens. The closest change I can think of is. The other night, I woke up with a veggie burrito. That's, that's at least a step towards a healthier blackout, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby steps, that's what I'm doing. You guys, uh, you guys black out a lot, probably, if you're a comedian. I, uh, I don't know, like, I don't mind it so much, though. You know, it's kind of fun. Because I'm, I'm a kid. I, when I was a kid, I grew up playing Clue. So now every morning, I just get to relive my childhood, you know? Play a similar mystery game where I try to find out what the fuck happened in my apartment the night before. What's that smell? What well, was vomit in the kitchen with the egg mice and the four consecutive double cheeseburgers? Mystery solved. <laughs> I win every time. Or I guess you can say I lose every time. It doesn't matter. Depends on your perspective. Some people call drinking a downward spiral. I like to think of it as like a playground slide, you know? Yeah, I'm having fun now. I know eventually I'll be facing the dirt with wood chips lodged in my palms. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be energetic today, trying to do that, trying to be the energy that I usually do when I perform. A little low, a little low energy today, Bob Palos, low energy. I, uh, deep out there, you knows my secret obsession for Fiona Apple. It's embarrassing, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh, Chicago. I'm actually not from Chicago, I'm from Pennsylvania. These are actually my friends who came to visit, so give it up for them. First time I actually ever brought, ever, uh, brought people to uh, my comedy show, so that's cool. I, uh, yeah, I'm from, I'm from Pennsylvania, so it took me a little bit uh, trying to learn uh, some of the districts and things, find out where I'm at, you know. I know Humboldt Park, it's kind of like the Puerto Rican neighborhood, right? Chinatown, I guess it's, it's a Chinese neighborhood, I guess it's gonna be specific. <laughs> I know there's Boys Town, which is, which is a homosexual neighborhood. I don't know if you know this about Boys Town. Uh, there's actually an epidemic going on where I guess uh, too many heterosexuals are moving in. It just ruins the balance, you know? That's not right. <laughs> so now I can't turn a corner without seeing these goddamn straights mouth kissing women. <laughs> Walking average sized dogs, living a different lifestyle in the eyes of God. Come on. Come on, Bob Palos. What are you thinking? Like, it's, it's pretty stupid, I think. For one thing, uh, I know they don't even call us. Goddamn straights, right? They call us breeders. That's the correct term. <laughs> Not nearly derogatory enough, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Learn how to hate like everyone else. Gay people. That's my message. <laughs> you never see that. You never. Uh, you never see that. That gay guy that's intolerant towards straight people. You know, be like, listen. These heterosexuals doing the privacy in their own home. That's one thing. Huh? Bring it out to the streets. How am I supposed to explain that to my adopted Asian children? <laughs> Put me in a pickle. Put me in a pickle. <laughs> Pennsylvania's where I'm from, like I said. Fucking one thing, uh, it's a blue state, so bars automatically by law have to close at 2 a.m. And that is a not enough time for me to figure out how much I hate myself. I need, I need a 5 a.m. bar, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Another thing, uh, in case you don't r realize how backwards it is, uh, you're allowed to keep a loaded gun in the car? I guess, you know, because the Amish are a force to be reckoned with. It's <laughs> the only thing I can think of. You're allowed to get their, this is their rationale, though. You can keep a loaded gun in your car, but if you get pulled over for anything, like even like a broken taillight, one of the first things you have to do is address the fact that you have a gun in the car. I don't see how that can go over well. Like, excuse me, sir, uh, do you know why I pulled you over? I have a gun in the car. And it's... Pretty much goes like that. That's how it goes every time. <laughs> you guys got cell phones or beepers? What, are, what, what era are we in? I don't even know. <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we at? What's going on? You got cell phones. You guys got those personalized ringtones, right? They got the, the one up now is uh, if you're calling somebody, you can hear their personalized ringtone back at you. So you don't have to be in the same room with them to hear their shitty tasting music. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for that. 
Now I wanna, every time I wanna call the guy that sells me weed, I have to listen to Holy Daughter by Dio. Is that what's going on now? That's fucking, I wanna get, I wanna get stoned, I have to listen to a, a pile of moldy bones and loose skin, you know? Held together with leather and perm grease. Thanks. Fucking Dio. Like, ride a tiger, you can see your straps, but you know they're clean. Oh, do you know what I mean? No, not really. Not really, Dio. <laughs> do you even know what you mean, you know? Or did you just uh, do a line of blow, mad lip some lyrics, and someone wrote you a check? Because that's what I think happened. <laughs> but that's how Dio got me to stop smoking marijuana. It's an upside every story. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> I, got a, I got this problem where I have to like fucking pee every 10 minutes. You know? That's disturbing. But I was, at the, I was at the bar the other night, you know, and every time I was in the bathroom, the same guy was in the urinal next to me. We were on the same pee schedule. That's a unique connection. And I should acknowledge this, says drunk Bob Palos. So I, do. I turned next to him and I said, like, hey, we should totally take a road trip together, you know? Just got awkward after that. <laughs> it got awkward after that. There's five stalls, too. I don't know why I kept picking the one next to him. That was weird. So I'm an asshole, guys. I want to tell you that right now. This is what I, all right. This is true. This is what uh, happened to me the other day. Uh, I was getting on the train. You go to take a seat, but sometimes you know it starts before you get to your seat. So I grabbed onto what a second later I realized was a baby carriage. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed an infant for leverage. Fuck it. Like, this nine-pound baby will break my fall. I don't look like an asshole, so I just I took the baby. I was acting like it was mine. <laughs> Parents were not confrontational, so it was pretty easy. Now I got a baby at home. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. What do you, what do you feed these things? <laughs> Doritos? That's what I've been doing. I don't know. Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a server. Uh, I'm a, who here serves? Anybody? Servers? Yeah! yeah. All right, that's cool. Fuck it. I uh, think is I, I work at a I work at this restaurant and they say they don't want me to go home alone at night with all the tips I've made, you know, because it's dangerous. But I figure if someone sees me with my restaurant shirt on, they'll probably just think I came from the kitchen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm Mexican. All right, there's that. Mostly because I don't gel my hair, so. All right, that's not a shot of uh, Mexican Americans working in the kitchen. That's a shot of my, my Hispanic coworkers that tweeze their eyebrows. That's what that is. <laughs> I actually did. I used to serve at a Mexican restaurant in a small white town in Pennsylvania, and uh, people would always they'd ask me your name, so I, you know, of course, well, it's Bob. Got the, the usual response I got was, "Oh, really? Hmm, Bob? That's hmm, that's your name? That's that's different, Bob." Great. Then one, once a woman actually tried to give me a little, like, a little bit of advice. She said, you know, you work at a Mexican restaurant. You should call yourself Roberto. <laughs> That's great, yeah. I'll start calling myself Roberto. Start calling yourself Bitchy McCumface, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right? That's what I wanted to leave on. That kind of laughter. <laughs> All right, I'm Bob Pales. Let's get it. <laughs>